John Curry, the athletic director of Kansas State, got out in front of it, issued an apology, and said, look, we could have done a better job. And John joins us now. John, did you, when did you realize that uh, this could get a little bit out of hand and you had to issue the apology? Well, Dan, I mean, clearly we uh, we didn't do the job that we have customarily done in these situations. You know, we beat Kansas three out of the last five years here. Um, last year when we beat them here, we, we did a great job of, uh, of our security uh, corridor uh, uh, getting set and um, for a for a number of reasons, none of which are, are, are worth rehashing. After I rehashed them all day yesterday, we just yeah. didn't get it done good enough. So um, clearly, it was uh, it was an issue. We felt very badly afterwards. Immediately, you know, Coach Coach Weber obviously apologized. Uh, our game ops person um, um, wanted to send the apology out from himself personally yesterday morning, but obviously, it's uh, it's my responsibility. So. Uh, that's why we moved fast to be accountable. And, and in my six years here, we've we've chosen to be very transparent and as accountable as possible uh, on the occasions where we haven't done something as well as we wanted to. Is it preventable? I mean, are fans going to go on the court? You're fine with them going on the court? First, let me ask you that. Well, personally, no. I, I, spectators belong in the stands. Um, you know, I've been an athlete, working in college athletics for 22 years, and uh, when I was at Wake Forest in the 1990s, uh, we got on a little run and beat Duke eight or nine times, and after a while, our, our students quit storming the court. When I was at Tennessee, we started beating Kentucky every now and again in basketball, and our students quit, quit storming the court. And now uh, here we need to progress to the same behavior. The challenge is, is that, and in the discussion, which is a very good discussion to have, is that the college – atmosphere in the college arenas are different than the pro arenas. Yeah. Now, again, that's not an excuse. I'm just describing the the operational situation, the tactical situation. And in Kansas State's uh, situation, we have an additional challenge in that, unlike most college arenas, we have a lot of students who come to the games. You know, we got 3,000 kids there, not two or 300 like is the problem at so many arenas. And we put our students all along the sideline or, the, base, or the, uh, the, the side court. They're all side court in bleacher seat side court. Uh, it's a great scene, as you see on television. As I know Brent has talked about that that you had on there earlier. They're not stuck over in the end zones or anything like that. And, and so it, it is a challenge to prevent, to prevent the action in a way that would not cause a more dangerous situation. So our number one priority is get the officials off the court safely, get the visiting coaches uh, and student athletes off the court safely, um, kind of funnel the masses um, uh, to a kind of a, a safe landing, if you will. Um, and, uh, and again, like we said earlier, we, we just didn't do as good a job Monday night as we've typically done here. Can you just have your, your student section where you can almost say, look, cordon them off until – I don't I, I don't need, it's like a holding pen here, John. I, I don't know what can be done. Financial penalties, is that gonna matter? These kids aren't gonna care. They wanna be on TV. They wanna celebrate and uh, you know, they've probably been cooped up in their dorm room and it's a February in Manhattan, Kansas, and let's run out on the floor. You're you're describing part of the issues and, and, and again as I said earlier, um, you know, if you're trying to treat a disease, you gotta make sure you don't kill the patient in the process of, of treating the disease. And so if we want to put up a chain link fence or have a fire and moat or have horses in there or something like that, we can we can do all those things. But then, then you see the situations in, in European soccer stadiums or you remember at the I think it was Wisconsin about twenty years ago, a wall collapsed yeah. and some people yeah. were killed and yeah. and so you're trying to, to manage all those things. Societally uh, from a society perspective, we have to make a decision as, as to whether or not it's acceptable behavior or not. If it's not acceptable behavior, we've got to stop glorifying it. And, hey, I'm guilty as charged. We got a big picture up of our you know, students storming the floor last year at, 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 when we beat KU last year, and Thomas Gibson's up on the press table being interviewed by Holly Rowe. And, and one of the problems we had on Monday night is our students changed their tactic. Instead of running to the center of the court, they ran to the press table, and that's what caused the push um, with, uh, with Coach Sell yeah. and Coach, Coach Weber there. So, um, you know, we had in our, we played in the Alamo Bowl this year um, uh, in, in our football season, and there were two uh, uh, individuals who ran out onto the field. You know, they weren't streakers. They were just drunk, right? They just ran out in the middle of the field during the third quarter or whatever. And, and you'll recall about 20 years ago there was a conscious decision that whether it's streakers or people just running out in the middle of the game, you know, television automatically goes away from that activity, right? And then on inside the venue – we don't put that on the video boards and stuff like that to try to take away the, the, uh, the, the glorification of such an activity. And, um, 
you know, that's, that's, that's helped reduce the occurrence of that kind of activity. Um, with that said, you know, it's, it's not ESPN's fault. It's not Fox's fault. It's in the situation happened the other night in relation to, to our, our issue was, was our responsibility. But, John, we do show it on TV. And you know that these schools that are going to get into March Madness Championship Week, it's their opportunity to get on TV. That's basically what Storm the Floor is all about. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. Can we stop you know, showing that? Do, do we talk to ESPN about that to say stop glorifying it? Does, is that going to matter at all with these kids? I'm not. I can't answer the question. I'm not. I'm not smart enough. You got a lot smarter people around here than me. Um, I think the the other element of it is uh, in this particular case. You know, we identified a student uh, or or a fan. We didn't know he was a student. We can't prejudge him, but we identified somebody very quickly. You know, with all the cameras we got, we studied that film all night. We identified the guy. We worked in concert with our police uh, to put out a picture of the one that um, had. Uh, we felt. It appeared um, that he had attempted to to run into one of the KU players, and and that person, uh, you know, has turned. We put it out, we tweeted it out, and and that person has been discovered, and he's turned himself in, and and there's a legal process that has started with that particular person. So we absolutely have to hold people accountable uh, when they do things, whether they're just in the moment of passion and fun and excitement uh, or not. When they do things that potentially could be, um, uh, you know, serious actions. Have you ever stormed the court, John? I would have to admit that when I was a student at Wake Forest and we beat North Carolina or we beat Wake Forest, I mean uh, Duke or something like that, I was a sophomore or something like that. Dave Odom was our coach, did a great job turning around that program. And I, and I remember running out there, and then I got out there in the middle of the court, and I was like, well, what do we do now? <laughs> so, so it's kind of a, what do we do now? You know, okay, well, we did it. Let's go. <laughs> you, know. you just jump up and down and look for the camera, and jump then up. that's it. Yeah, so – <laughs> and 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 the picture now is and we got a picture around here of Michael Beasley in 2007 or whenever we beat him when he was here and he's up on that scores table and so and and that was one of the problems we had the other night they just they went to a different place than we anticipated and and we were late anyways and it just compounded and was was not a good situation which we you know we feel really badly about if you beat Kansas next year do you think the, the fans will storm the court I think that's a good question for our students. I hope they don't. Um, and again, number shouldn't one, shouldn't they we, expect I, I, though, I hope John? We beat them. Yeah, shouldn't they expect Kansas State to beat Kansas? It's it's kind of cooler not to storm the the court. And that was the approach we took at Tennessee uh, with uh, with with the Gators in uh, uh, in Kentucky in, in in basketball a number of years ago. Uh, you know, we play. We're in a very tough conference. We play ranked teams about every night. We play Iowa State on Saturday. They're they're very highly ranked. They're competing for the conference championship. Uh, I believe that uh, if we beat Iowa State, our students will not storm the court. Um, but this is a pretty significant rivalry over here. And for a long time, uh, K State was the second fiddle university in the state. And yeah. the reality of it is, is that um, it's changed, and we need to act like who we are. We're, we beat them six times in a row in, bas- in football. We beat them three out of the last five at home in, in uh, basketball, and then we're the number one college destination of choice in the state. We got the biggest freshman class of the state. We got the most diverse uh, class in the state. We got the biggest undergraduate enrollment in the state. We need to start acting like who we are, with great respect, of course, to this the is, University of you, Kansas. You're talking smack here, John. Talking smack. I'm just. You're talking saying, smack we, we need, to Kansas need, right now. I'm talking smack to K State. We need to act like who we are. <laughs> I think that you need to build a moat, and that'll keep these kids off the floor. Damn it! All right. Well, we're trying to get some concertina wire in there, and maybe some uh, some like. uh, alligators or something. <laughs> John, thanks for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity, Dan. And you're the number one radio station of choice in the intern bullpen <laughs> in here in my office. These guys love you. Uh, thank you. And uh, we, we had the uh, Kansas State helmet that was sent to us earlier in the year. So uh, tell the, tell the uh, kids thank you. Well, if you're doing the broadcasting here, you might want to wear it. <laughs> so I've heard. Thank you, John. Thanks, Dan. That's John Curry, Kansas State Athletic Director.